Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Shop Talk. Um, one thing, I'm going to go over a couple of things. Uh, one thing is this was sent in from a friend of mine, seen from Florida, and it is a VizCon made by Canon. And he sent this in and uh, gave it to me, and so I've been looking at uses for it on what to do with it. Let me try it right here on the back. Now when I got this thing, uh shipping company had damaged it. They had broke the uh, arm off, but I was able to go in there and repair it. Just glued it back together, put a couple of reinforcement bolts and nuts in it, and she's good as new. And so she'll swivel like she's supposed to. Well, uh, we got a power in, S-Video jack, um, video audio output jacks, and a uh, shutter speed. Here on the front we have a AGC lock. Um, this goes negative positive video, a mute button for the audio, and a white balance adjust. And uh, you can set it auto or you can set it for manual. So, you know, when you look at this and you wonder just what it is uh, useful for, we'll take a look at the camera. And you can see the uh, camera rotates 360 degrees. It has a uh, adjustment here that controls light input and it also has a focus control. So, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, what can I do it to? Well, I have it connected to my big 36 inch monitor up here. And, uh, you know, when you get old, your eyes ain't as good as they used to be. So what this really comes in handy for is getting in here and looking at circuit boards. You want to do visual inspection of a circuit board. So it comes in real handy for this. Um, I say my eyes just ain't no ways uh, what they used to be. And, this will be a real big help for just making quick inspections of a circuit board. Um, another feature I like is uh, you can you know go to that negative video and you can see the circuit traces show up real well. I hope the camera is catching what I'm seeing. But uh, just the uh, white balance here. And this is real good for looking at just the circuit traces to see if anyone's cracked or, or blown. You can play with the white balance control. And the amount of light that's going into it. And it really helps for looking at these boards. So a big thank you to Sing for uh, sending this in. I'm sure it'll get uh, plenty of use here in the future. Now another thing that we're always curious here in the shop when we're working on equipment, you know, especially transmitters, is looking at everything that's going on with a transmitter. So uh, what I've done was I got my uh, lead that comes up to my watt meters and it goes through this telewave meter which is made by a bird this is a slugless 500 watt RMS meter uh, one good thing about it is it has the RF sampling port on the side of it so we're running the RF sampling port down through some attenuators also and then down into our spectrum analyzer So, um, I have just a plain simple CB sitting here on the bench. So when we key the mic, turn the intensity up just a bit. You can see our 27 megahertz carrier and also over on the uh, right hand side you can see our 54 megahertz carrier 
that's coming out of the radio and uh, we can calculate and figure out if that's you know where it needs to be you know whenever you're tuning up a, uh, a radio especially a CB uh, you know don't be installing all these super whack packs and stuff because you know you hear all kinds of comments about uh, the way people say on on radio I don't care if it's CB or ham radio the most important thing with any radio is a clean single and getting the radio tuned up like it's supposed to be and as you can see when I key this radio up we see no other spikes at all down here I do have a filter on we'll adjust it out we can widen the single up you know and as you can see it's just completely clean single you know other than our 54 megahertz so yeah it's always you know good to uh, watch your output make sure it's clean now Alan did a video quite some time about about monitoring your ham radio and this works with any kind of radio and he showed this circuit and what this is is a RF sampler with a uh, demodulator poured in it so what you can do you can sample your RF plus you can pick your modulation off so we'll go down here to our scope and we'll demonstrate how this works on the scope Let's see, can't we get uh, tuned in on it now you see our two channel here on the scope is displayed we have one you know going into one channel one going into two channel which is in you know XY so when we key up the radio and I'll turn the mic game down we can see our RF carrier here and what the top line is is that demodulated audio so if we'll come here and we'll move this down and let it ride right on top of that uh, RF carrier now as I turn the uh, mic gain up we can monitor our waveform of our transmitter and our modulation at the same time just by uh, talking into the microphone and we're able to look at it and look for flat topping and you know whatever that you uh, shouldn't be in the transmission so this way we can um, you know we're monitoring everything we're monitoring our waveform coming out we're looking for spectral purity on our spectrum analyzer and we also have a frequency counter connected to uh, monitor the frequency so this you know it really helps in uh, setting up the transmitter the way it's supposed to be yeah for, for single size band you can uh, actually switch the scope over to XY mode and uh, watch your trapezoid waveform so you know just a little bit of tips on how to uh, monitor your transmitter you know just to make sure you got a good clean single coming out now this is a piece of equipment that I've had for a very very long time and uh, what this is is a molar roller model S1344 ABC and what this is is a frequency counter and auto tune deviation meter plus it'll read tone out of the radio and I used to use this quite a bit when working on handy talkies because it was so uh, you know convenient to use this for checking the frequency and deviations and stuff um, later on the unit lost its sensitivity so uh, you know you got uh, two different inputs you got 20 Hertz to a uh, 50 megahertz and 25 megahertz to 512 megahertz on one side and you can switch between the two grab a handy talkie 
I've got a Motorola HT600 that I'm working on. And uh, we'll key it up. Go off repeater. Go into simplex mode. And we have a frequency of 461. 374 should be 375 and we also see our CTCSS tone of 1 kilohertz and if we speak into it we can see the uh, deviation the problem is with it since it's left it's lost its uh, sensitivity is that you've got to put the radio close and uh, the unit will get a lock as you can see if I move the radio back you know two foot uh, starts losing its input single so that makes it kind of tough to uh, check it you know the problem is with uh, this unit is that if you go online and you search for this you can find a few of them what you can't find is any documentation that I've seen I've um, seen no documentation at all on these and you know if anyone has one of these or or seen any documentation I would love to uh, get a copy of it or uh, if you know you know where to find it I would love to see it so one thing that I really used to like about this unit was that you could key the radio and come down here and hold the count tone button down as soon as it locked it will give you the uh, PL tone or CTCSS tone of what the radio was transmitting and uh, that was a big help you know especially when someone brings in a transmitter and you just need to do a quick test on it like I say if you know if anyone has any information or anything on this you know let me know I have tore into it and looked at it and you know it's got quite a bit of stuff in there so you know I just don't want to go in blind and have to reverse engineer everything just to get this working so if you uh, know of anything please leave your comments down below all right I hope you enjoyed uh, this little segment of shot talk and uh, if you click on the show more tab just below the video I'll leave a link to Alan's uh, video where he built the sampler and demodulator port and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up so we'll see you in the next one